and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Iceborne Spiders. That's right, we're going to be playing some Iceborne Legacy Spiders up next. Our next meme tier video, um, this one is going to be playing uh, this Freljord Slow Speed Spell Iceborne Legacy. So it's slow, it says grant um, an ally and all allied copies of it everywhere, plus two, plus two. So any ally, and the, the ally that we're going to try to grant is just simply Spiderling. This little Spiderling token. Because we're going to have a lot of things that are going to make Spiderling tokens. So if we can get a Spiderling, which of course are just 1-1s, one but with Iceborne Legacy we can turn these into 3-3s. Three Maybe we get a second Iceborne Legacy, turn them into 5-5s. Five that would be pretty good, turn them into Enraged Yetis. So we have our Vile Feast that makes Spiderling. Of course, whenever Elise attacks, puts a Spiderling into play attacking, so that would put in 3-3s three into play attacking. And we'll have Crawling Sensation. That will make a couple Spiderlings when we have something die. And then, of course, Brood Awakening, putting in three Spiderlings as well. So a lot of ways to put Spiderlings into play. And then we're going to try to use Iceborne Legacy to buff them up. And that's that's going to be what we're going to be attacking with. Now, um, besides that, oh, then, of course, Hapless Aristocrat. Whenever Hapless Aristocrat dies, it's a Spiderling. So that's going to be us getting a whole bunch of units and going wide and buffing them up and stuff like that. Now that's gonna be our plan A now and attacking in with those. Now for some some top end, when that doesn't work, we have they who endure. Because of course we're gonna be having a bunch of allies, a bunch of spiders in play, a lot of them will be dying because they'll be pretty small. And then boom, go they who endure with atrocity at the top end. So we still have that pretty awesome top end. Um but then, uh, uh, let's see, but yeah, we're gonna be focusing on the spiders and you know, we'll have like, try to level up Elise, we'll have Frenzied Skitter, be able to buff up the spiders um, and all of that kind of stuff. Arachnoid Horror being a spider in here too. So there we go, that's gonna be our deck. All right, so let's go play our uh, five games. Uh, playing them over in normal, cause it is meme tier Tuesday. Okay, looks like we got another Freljord Shadow Isles deck. Now this is probably gonna be a tough matchup because they're going to be a an Anivia deck that tries to get a bunch of Anivias. And Anivia, when it attacks, it does one damage to all of my stuff, or leveled up does two damage. And my goal is to just go wide with a bunch of small things. So if we're going wide with a bunch of small things, and they're just being able to wipe the board constantly, that sounds like a bad matchup for me. Um, I'm going to keep Glimpse Beyond, ability to draw two. Where are you? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Elise would be a good card to draw. Speaking of Lady Elise, where are, where are you? What's that noise? I must get out of here. I'm probably just going to Vile Feast my own Hapless Aristocrat so we can get a spider. Warm hearts and hot soups. Now I'll Vile Feast their thing. Yeah, hopefully we can Iceborne Legacy. Iceborne Legacy is very, very easy to disrupt. That's that's the thing about this is you know, now that it's slow speed. This card used to be Burst. Or maybe fast, I think it was burst, but it was three mana and it gave him plus one plus one. But now that it's slow. Please, I have connections. And uh plus two plus two, it's super easy to disrupt. Okay, there's an Elise. Elise is cool. There's nothing to fear. I don't know if they're just gonna avalanche, like that would be bad. You dare. They grow up so fast. Also bad. This is why this is a tough matchup. You won't suffer long. Oh, 
Wow, no blocks. Yo, know, why, why did the three one not just block? I want to cast the shared spoils while we have the plunder enabled. I know what lurks in the shadows. You're far from your flock, little bird. A bird of prey hunts alone. I bring the storm. Okay, so they still attacked. Stay a while. Strike them down. Yeah, it's a, it's a sad Iceborne legacy for sure. I want to see if I can keep them maybe from attacking. I don't I don't think I display the day who endure yet. We'll see if this works. Wow. Wow. Talk about something I did not expect. Okay. So now now we now we're talking. Now we have 3-3 three, three spiderlings. Find other Spiderling cards. We have a glimpse beyond. Now, now we're talking. That was not something I expected at all. They're they're in a little bit of trouble here. They're at nine, and they're just passing to me and letting me go to attacks. I will gladly go to attack. Put another three three into play attacking. They're in a little bit of trouble. No, I don't know. I don't know what they're called. Of, <clears throat> there's there's not really a, a tribes in Runeterra. All right, so that's Anivia's Harsh Winds. There's only a couple of of uh, cards that care about the card type, like like there's like dragons and elites and spiders. There's there's not very many. I don't really have to put more things out in front of a ruination. Obviously, Anivia also time. attacking in here, doing two damage to stuff. Don't need to, you know, just throw like frenzied skitter or anything like that in play right now. For my homeland. What's your hurry? Definitely wish it would have been, yeah, a couple of turns before, <laughs> right? <clears throat> Kill that Agnivia, but still a good draw right now because it's going to be the three-three. Can't believe that Iceborne Legacy worked on those Spiderlings. Definitely see them have. <clears throat> could definitely see them having harrowing in hand. Um, I don't want to tap out. Like if I play Vile Feast, that opens up Ruination for them. But then I would have Brood Awakening left over that would make three four threes. So that would probably still be fine. <laughs> Which makes me just better against like Withering Whale and stuff like that. A tribute to the spider god. Looks like they're going with Withering Whale. We will have Troll Chant for. So I want to keep Elise alive because it'll make another uh, Avalanche. I'll make another Spiderling when we attack. No difference between Frenzied Skitter and Arachnoid Horror this turn, so we'll just play the Arachnoid Horror. We'll make a spell mana. They just draw Withering Wheel. So 
So I can either glimpse beyond this and they don't get a 1-1 one, one, or I glimpse beyond this and they don't gain three life. It's only, so it's two extra life for a 1-1. One, one. I guess I'd rather them not have the 1-1 one, one and have two extra life. Awesome. Atrocity's good. I'm probably gonna go Harrowing, hopefully not. That's my expectation. They've only had two Anivias die, right? Yeah, just two. Return to us. Okay, that's not as bad. So we still have harsh winds to stop Atrocity. We just did the update a little bit ago. So yeah, the patch is out. If you want to learn more about it, it's there and on the news page. Playing this now means that they probably want to play Ruination, and, and I don't think that they could stop Ruination. Like they have, like basically to stay alive, they have to have ruination and a flash freeze, and I think that that's a really big ask. I think it's the ruination makes a lot of sense, but now they have to have flash freeze, and I just don't think they're gonna have that. Or if I just go to attacks, they could, you know, harsh winds my fourteen fourteen with like a Nivia harsh winds. They definitely can have flash freeze. Like it's it's a card they could play, but I, you know, I I doubt it. I'm testing them. Yeah, they would add harsh winds. All right, got the first one. GGs. I am really surprised that that uh, Iceborne Legacy worked on that Spiderling that turn. That's definitely what helped us win that game. That was huge. Making all these Spiderlings into three threes. I don't know. I don't know what that was about. I don't know what that, that other extra patch download was about. Alright, let's see. We're going to mulligan they who endure? Question mark. I don't know. I think I kind of want to keep they who endure, actually. This seems like a matchup that like we may need to be able to end the game very quickly. And like they'll probably be controlling the board and killing all of our stuff. Basically, I think that they who endure could, could work out fairly well. Yeah, I thought we already did the patch 115, 115, but we just had another quick download. There, there must have been just a little, you know, something going wrong. They had a patch real small. Without a sound. I can do this. Shadows cut deep as any weapon. I don't know why they'd be scared to attack, but I was hoping they would be. My skill is that plus zero plus two from the TRE definitely helps them out. So I want to share its spoils this turn. Looking into the future, I see you. Um, maybe I got a vile feast this mentor the stones. I guess I probably need to do that. I don't know, that gives them all those gems. We'll be fine. Your fate is written in the stars. I've seen it, is it? Hope they don't give overwhelm. Okay, we should still get the 1 1 with Bastion. Yep. I won't stop now.
I don't care about these things that can't block um, Fearsome anyway. Then we'll probably go Crawling Sensation. Ooh. Alright, so we'll go Elise, Skitter, and hope they can't block too much. We're gonna have to have another spell right now. You know they, you know they block three things. They take lethal. So they're going to have to have another spell. Yeah, the Brom Kench deck was pretty sweet. It was basically all all sorts of frostbite, and then Tom Kench with tons and tons of frostbite, and then also feel the rush. Now we feast. Iceborne spiders. Tuno. Mono Demacia. Yeah, there's the 3-5 that whenever you behold, you, it gains regeneration. Yep. There's that one. Looks like I have some sleepy puppers. <laughs> there's the other pupper. They're both just lying down in, in their beds. Sleep in. Oh, sorry about it. That egg? Did it move? I'll write my own story. I suppose they were waiting for me. I'm actually here. We, we shall not Let's go, Callista. Next turn, we're gonna be playing the Brood Awakening. I could play Troll Chant to kill the 3 3. Nah. Love it. They don't have to, you know, like they can have like single combat, but they don't really have too many ways to stop an Iceborne Legacy. Man, I want to just go for it. What do y'all think? Y'all think they're gonna have single combat or concerted strike? Should I go for it? If I pass. They probably play like Garen or something, right? No, they didn't tap out. Why didn't they tap out? Not a good pass. Hmm. Not a good pass. You have to get me out of here. There's that single combat. Wow, and concerted strike. They had them both. Can't have another single combat, right? Yes. Sturdy blades, custom made. Okay, okay. Radiant strike. If they didn't have that Radiant Strike, they wouldn't have had this, this Cythria to be able to block with easily. I won't back down. 
Um, still a decent trade for me. I know I have this Glimpse Beyond, but whenever they're sitting there with the four Demacia, I think I just take the trade. When they're sitting with four Demacia and I'm sitting with they who endure. Been a long path to get here. I don't like that Cythria. Don't hold back. I am going to be blocking and go ahead and block and sacrifice. There we go. Good crawling sensation. One mana make two three threes. Again, but again. Um, I don't know if I want to play this Apple's Aristocrat or not. Maybe not. I just—I don't know if I want it to take the room up. Ooh. Looks like it can now. It's only a 9-9. Nine -nine. Right so 9-10-11-12. Make it 13 with this other Spiderling. It does. It says it right here. When I saw him grant me a plus one, plus one for each ally that has died this round, and so that, that's been nine of them. So this is going to be a 10 10. Um, but now, obviously, some other things just died, so now 11. Oh, I think like everything's good on ladder these days, Plead Meister. I think it's really wide open. Um, anything that, whatever you enjoy and whatever you can pilot well and play well. I think you're gonna you can have success with it's um, yeah it's wide open right now. Yeah, that feel the rush deck with the Yetis. Yeah, that that deck looks pretty good. I'm a smith, I'm a soldier. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope not another purify. I've seen a purify from them before. So that's probably not a purify. We're gonna do this right now where a single combat doesn't blow it up. If I wait till after damage, then a single combat will blow it up, but. Alright, there we go. They who endure atrocity still being super strong. And we three and oh. Hmm. How is this gonna work out? We play a bunch of small things, they the damages their things, and then they uh, get to heal them. May not be as good. I like I like this fearsome stuff. I think that could be good. They got smaller uh, power blockers. I think I like kind of just going for the fearsomes. Uh, Rami, what what would you like exp explained? You said, can someone explain why it's so good? What what is the it's? Which uh... okay, they can trade two drops. Fiora Shen. Okay, why is it so good? Because um, basically, Fiora Shen is so good because it it has um. The units are good size for their mana cost to start with. It uh, has really, really good spells um, with interaction, you know, kind of either way. The, the spells that it has are, are very good. 
But most importantly, the real the biggest reason is that it is good in combat blocking and attacking. It forces it forces your hand of like telling you how to block. And that's a really powerful effect where it, could, it can control combat on both sides of, of the board, both turns. Um, I pull the string. It's a very powerful effect. Table for one, if you oblige. Now you've gone and upset it. So they kill that spider. I did, I don't. I'm not gonna have them kill another spider. And attacking with the others. It's not. It's not worth one damage to sacrifice a spider and and also help out their star spring. I am very surprised they're not going after Elise, to be honest. Very surprised. I would love to play the Frenzy Skitter on my turn, but then they could use the um, the Acquired Taste and get rid of my Spider Queen Elise. So we're just going to play this on their turn. What's in store for me? Uh... I need time for commune, Tom. This you know. That's true. They may have had box to post. Maybe I shouldn't have played this frenzied skitter because the box to post and waited with like troll chant and stuff. So they can have like pill cascade and block, and I can't stop that with troll chant because like they could go pill cascade block before I troll chant to make it well, not fearsome anymore. They can also hush Spider Queen Elise. That would be the worst case scenario. And then, like, these. I guess it's only just these two things aren't fearsome anymore. Okay, there we go. GG's. Fearsome getting it done. Alright, so our meme tier deck is 4 and 0. Oh. That means we're taking it on over to ranked. Yeah, they definitely should have. Definitely should have eaten Elise. Alright, we're over on ranked and against Zed and. Maybe I don't keep this this time. Last time, you know, I kept the They Who Endure against the Zed deck, and it ended up not really mattering, I think. Maybe I don't. Well, I'd rather have They Who Endure than Atrocity. Okay, or I guess we just get both. There's nothing to fear. No blocker. Yay, no blocker. Spit her out from the darkness. Alright, now no Zed. <laughs> just don't just don't play cards. No Zed. Pledge no. to the shadows. Uh let's see. So I can have one, two, three. Okay, so we can level up Elise. If we go Vile Feast, Crawling Sensation. We must all make sacrifices. That's very rude. Squished. So much for leveling up Elise. So I'm just not going to play the Crawling Sensation anymore. We'll just keep six mana. Play this thing. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Attack. Cut the breath from them. The order. Wow. That's pretty crazy. We got to kill a Zed. All 
Iron. Only one spell. It's also kind of weird timing all that Guiding Touch. It's not a second spell. Okay, maybe we get a leveled up Elise this turn. Wow, yeah, so we got a Zed and they're not just like playing a new Zed. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. We, we shall not rest until all betrayers end. Don't kill my spiders. I know what lurks in the shadows. Could have another. Okay, they they're not gonna kill the spiders. Leveled up Elise means GG. That wasn't so bad, now was it? Because they're all going to be fearsome. I wouldn't challenge. All right. Finish out the 5 0. Five win dream for Iceborne Spiders. The Iceborne Legacy Spiders. There we go. This deck, this deck works pretty well. So, yeah, this, this is a different, kind of a different version of an Endure deck. You know, like the. Endure decks are playing, you know, like your Curse Keeper and Blighted Caretaker and all that kind of stuff. This one's just focused on focused on spiders and Iceborne Legacy, um, being able to make all your spiders 2-2s. Two that was pretty awesome, that first game against the Anivia deck, being able to resolve the Iceborne Legacy and make all the Spiderlings 3-3s. Three I, I said 2-2s, two but they, they get the plus 2, plus 2. And then, you know, you just keep on playing, get a whole bunch of Spiderlings out, make them bigger, and they have to deal with all that. And once once they deal with all those Spiderling, Spiderlings and try to stabilize, then boom, you have the They Who Endure Atrocity finish, even if they stabilize. And we definitely found that to be really powerful. Um, yeah, worked worked really well. We didn't do anything with the Mark of the Isles, um, but you know, like we have we have a, like a few little different one-ofs, and I like having like a little, like the different one-ofs. Like the Shared Spoils was okay. That one uh, helped a little bit. The the Fear of the North was nice, I like blocking in Nivea. I like having like those little uh, one of's and yeah, I, could, I think the Mark of the Isles, like, it could have been good at, like, blocking, uh, blocking Zed, you know, like, whenever they're just not expecting it kind of thing. But anyway, that's Iceborne Spiders, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well, I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.